What's going on guys? I'm the white guy and um, it's uh, it's really late. I didn't notice this came out until now. It's one in the mornings I'm recording this, so I just noticed that um, there's some Supercross DLC for um, MXGP3 here. We're going to do a little video on just to see what it's like. Uh, the SMX Riders Cup, I, I don't know, I just saw this get mentioned. I haven't done this before. Apparently I can't pick my own bike, so uh, we'll go with the Kawasaki is there, do any of these guys have two strokes in there or no? Uh, I would bet on uh, nope, it doesn't look like it. So we'll go with the Kawasaki team and we'll start the race here. This is a $5 DLC. At least it came out on PC apparently June 29th, I want to say. Now it's now July 3rd as I record this and I didn't even notice that. But um, let's go straight to the track here and get it going for you guys. Let's see what it's like. Here we go. Again, sorry I'm talking kind of quiet. This is going to be one of the mornings I'm recording. I want to get this video done so I can have this up tomorrow. I'm going to stay up really late tonight and get this rendered out because there is super cross DLC for this game now, which is, in my opinion, a neat thing to do. We'll try to do a couple of races here for you guys. But if you guys would like to see more MXGP3 and want to see more of this, uh, this extra DLC for the game, let me know. I'd be happy to try and make it happen if I can. It's just, it just seems like a very neat thing so far. The Supercross seems to control really nice. You can throw out some pretty nice whips. And there we go, launching past them if into the lead. I still don't know what iPhone does. I need to figure that out and get braked for the corner. There we go. Now, this is kind of cool. This track rides a lot smoother than the other MXGP games. Like, it feels like you can actually rhythm it. The graphics look better. It sounds better. The bike still looks like it's just hovering over the ground. Like if you just just stare at the back tire for a second, and it looks like the bike is just kind of hovering over the ground right there. Don't know what the deal behind that is. It's, it's just it's kind of weird. I don't know. We'll, do, we'll do like a race for now though. It's probably a shorter video, so I so can have something straight up first thing in the morning tomorrow. I'll get this video uploaded, and depending on how this video goes over, I can make some more. I'll make more videos of normal me during that, but this is this is 1 a.m. me right now trying to make this video so I can just, just I saw it, I'm like, ooh, I need to get a video up on that, like, stat, so just need one of this up, hopefully you guys would think this is neat, um, so far, if this is all that's, if this is the one track you get, I, uh, can't say, we're definitely not doing that intentionally, by the way, to let the AI catch up, I, I definitely, uh, not entirely sure, I wouldn't, Personally, I, I would not say this is worth $5 if this is just the you get. You're not allowed to use your own custom stuff and you have to do just this one track. I don't entirely know what's coming up next, though. If it's just multiple races on this track, I don't think it's worth a $5 DLC price for a 40 second lap Supercross track. <laughs> but there, there's a nice uh, thumbnail for myself right there in the stadium. Let's see what comes up next. If we have anything at all, actually. Um, continue. Sure, we got credits. I uh, will run that guy, I guess. My, I, I think this is just going to be the same track over and over again. Is what it looks like. We'll see if anything changes with that SSD load time, though. Um, those are all going to... Oh, no, this one's not taken. I'll take that one. Alright, uh, yeah, this is just going to be the same track over and over again, isn't it? That's, a, that's unfortunate. Uh, don't think personally I could recommend spending five bucks on this right now, which I, I, I personally just bought it. It's like, oh, I'll make videos on it. Hopefully I can get my five bucks back if I make a couple of videos on it here and there. But, um, it's neat, but I don't know if I would say it's five dollars neat. Uh, it's just something different. I think Milestone can just kind of honestly price their game at whatever they want right now, because there really isn't anything else competing with it, because Supercross Encore is kind of a flop, if we're all being honest. And Reflex multiplayer got canned on consoles. Not it's still going strong on PC, but Reflex on consoles, I imagine, is more or less dead because they shut off multiplayer a long time ago. And uh, I just I don't know. I think this is about the only game people on most people on consoles even have to pick from. So Milestone can kind of just name their own price at this point. And kind of people are gonna have to pay for it if they want a game that's got super gross in it. Ooh, we're going off track. Going off track. Let's get let's get back into here. All right, there we go. Bring it around town here, and uh, we got three laps of this to go, and I'll probably end up cutting off the video after this race. If you guys would like to see normal me making some videos here, hopefully with uh, I can ever figure out how to turn up the AI difficulty, let me know, and I would be happy to hop on top of that and get that going, so you guys can get a uh, better feel for this when I'm uh, actually doing competitive racing on it. There might even be multiplayer racing on this track, possibly. If there's no multiplayer on this track, I'm going to be very sad. But if there is multiplayer on this track. I will get that out and that will be another video in the future with hopefully normal me doing it and not 1.30 in the morning me doing it, <laughs> trying that. <laughs> We're doing our best here though, let's see if we can actually 
take that guy down. No, you can't. The AI are not as easy to take out as they used to be. Here we go. We'll line this guy up, though. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. But this uh, this does feel really nice. I just this is such a small bit of DLC for five bucks. It's kind of ridiculous. Stop you for style points. It's how we do. It's how we roll over here in this channel. We do stop you for style points all the time. You, you know it. All right, let's try and lay down some passes right here. Those are going to actually get out of fourth place and at least onto the podium with 52 second lap times. I wonder, wonder the fast lap on this track is like. Definitely don't want to go inside there, as we just found out. That bumble is shooting right off the track if you have any amount of speed coming into that. It seems like these guys are pretty easy to pass right here. They just have to keep your throttle down. No wind to break, so you don't launch off the track, which is always a good thing. So there's a little bit you actually have to brake check yourself. It's not just wide open all the time. Oh, we're gonna get the pass. We're gonna get the pass in the last corner. I think we're gonna get the pass. There we go. We got back up to second at least, and scrubbed that pretty hard. That that's a good thumbnail if I've ever seen one. That's gonna do it for this video, though, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this DLC with normal me and possibly multiplayer on it, if that's a thing, let me know. Catch you guys in the next one.